Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode let's talk about how we can store digital signature in SharePoint using pen input control in Power Apps so without further delay let's get started but before that if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far please do follow me here i am on my machine and here you can see that i have created one Power Apps with pen input control and one button control now the requirement I want to achieve here is whenever someone digitally sign this thing, I want to store the digital signature as an image into my SharePoint document library. And this is the document library that I have created. Now how we can achieve this kind of thing? In order to store the digital signature into SharePoint, we can use Power Automate flow. So now let me explain you how to do this. To attach the pen input control on your screen, you need to go to the insert menu and need simply need to search for pen and over here you can see the pen input. Just add this control and it will show something like this. Just rename your control name as pen digital signature. Now here I have added one button control. For that simply go to the insert and simply search for the button and add the control. Now. What we need to do here is first we need to store this digital signature into SharePoint document library and for that we will create one Power Automate flow. And the Power Automate flow is created in a such a manner that we will passing the content from this digital signature to the Power Automate. So now first let's work upon Power Automate flow. For that go to your Power Automate and select Instant Cloud Flow. Over here click on skip and search for Power Apps. So you can find two triggers. Let's use Power Apps V2. Over here we need to pass the file from my Power Apps. So we will use a parameter file and let's just rename this variable as signature. Now let's add a new step to add that particular file into SharePoint document library. So for that let's search for create file action so you can see an action create file now over here you need to provide the site address folder path and file name so let's provide the site address as my leaves list folder is my document library click on this folder icon and let's select my shared documents library you need to provide the file name so file name is something which we are going to pass from our Power Apps. And same way file content is also something that we need to provide. So file content is like whatever file we have passed here, we are just going to pass it. So over here let's select signature. So you can see whenever you hover over it, you can see the formula trigger body file and inside that there is a content byte, right? So this is my file content. Now file name is something which also we need to pass from our JSON from the Power Apps. So that is something I will show you soon. So let's just keep this as this. But before that let's just provide a static name as a.png over here. Okay. So we provided that. So I just provided a name of my flow as pen input yt demo. Now let's save the flow and then add this flow into my Power Apps. So let's go to the Power Apps. You just simply need to go to the Power Automate action from the left navigation and then you need to add this flow. So just click on add flow and over here you can find the different flows. If the flow is not available just hit refresh and just for the pen input YT demo and it is available. So that's great. So this is the flow that we added. Now Let's add this flow onto our button control. Same like let me just add button control over here. And now let's add this power automate which is pen input yt demo. So just search for pen input pen input yt demo dot run. You need to use this. Inside that you need to pass this entire signature. So you can see the syntax as file record because we are using file inside our input parameter so this is our file right let's use file 
After file, you need to add one more curly braces. Curly braces end and complete the bracket. First, we need to provide the record as content bytes. So content byte is nothing but the signature of this pen input control. So you need to copy the name of your control which is pen digital signature. So pen digital signature dot you can find image. So you need to pass that. After this comma we need to pass one more parameter which is the file name. So let's just provide the name and inside the name we need to provide what type of name we want to have. So let's say I want to have the name as a uh, power platform guy, which is my Instagram ID. And I want to append a uh, DDYYMM. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using now function. Let me just format this function text now and I need dd mm yy hh mm ss I need something like this okay so I'm just passing it and after that we need to provide the extension to it so let's add one more end person double inverted comma dot png let's provide this name as like this let's just finish one more curly braces over here and we are done still it is showing me an error because i did not add it this into double inverted comma so let's add that and we are done you can see that the formula is created so we simply use so let me just format a text so you can see it better so we just use a file as a record inside that there is two key value pair one is content byte and another is name content byte is nothing but your pen input signatures image and name is your file name this is something that we are passing right one more thing over here so let me just add one image control over here so you can see that how this pen input control is providing you the output so for a rough work i'm just adding one image over here and now let's play the app now i'm just doing one signature over here okay and now what i'm doing here is i'm just providing here a code like this is my control pen digital signature dot image let's just print that pen in pen digital signature dot image and that will show you the output to you as well over here as soon as you clear the stuff it will clear the image as well and depending on that it will show you the appropriate image okay now it's time to taste our flow but before that we need to make one change so over here we provided the static name right a dot png so instead of that we need a dynamic name so how to provide a dynamic name so let's just remove this thing from here first of all let's copy this thing from here let's copy the signature okay let's paste it as is over here but we need to paste this into expression so i'm just pasting this okay so it is showing trigger body file content byte so here we need to check in our flow run like whatever code we have written here we have one parameter as content byte and another is as name right so we need to provide here name so let's go to our flow so here we have content bytes instead of that let's add name let's copy this entire thing and simply paste it over here we are done yep so it is showing file dot name and we are good let's save the flow now it's time for testing i'm playing this thing now I'm clicking this button and let's see what happens. So I click this button. I already did one digital signature and now let's check the flow run. So the flow ran successfully and you can see that this has generated the file as well. Let me go to my document library. Let me hit my library and you can see that it has created a file name with power platform guy 
and ddmmyy and this is the signature do i have over here right so this is really cool isn't it so same like as per your business requirement you can save this same digital signature into your dataverse or if you want to store that into your sharepoint image column or you want to store that into your sharepoint list attachment you can do the same stuff so isn't that cool hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel Meantime if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultation or any type of training this is the website link please visit there and feel free to connect me